All right, this is episode two of Saving Zoe. Uh, when you, we left off, I had uh, lubricated the back left wheel and showed you how to do that. I've done all four of them now, so now they they all uh, turn super easy. You know, you touch them, they, they keep going, they don't just stop. Um, I got the mower tilted back because I want all the fluids towards the back, oil and gas and everything. Um, let me get my toolbox on this handle to stabilize it. That way it's not going to guillotine me. Um, the next thing I want to do is uh, get this blade off and get all that stuff off of there. And if you want to get a blade off at home, um, I have my own blade block that I made using a two piece of two by four and a one by and a C clamp. Then I put a spring through there. And uh, so it'll kind of clamp onto the, it'll sort of clamp onto the edge of the deck here. And, uh, I put that on there, but you guys probably don't want to do that. So, I'm going to show you how to get the blade off with one of these commercial blockers. And uh, you can buy these at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, the idea is the same. It goes on the edge of the mower on the side just like I did that clamp and then you tighten this screw and it's got a rubber bumper on there so you don't scratch up or damage the deck um, so let's use this since this is what you'll be able to find at Home Depot and Lowe's so it goes here and then you know you may have to loosen it to get it in place and then you tighten it until it's snug And now that's going to keep the blade from turning. Now, since we're going this way with the screw, um, lifty loosey, going to go that way. The blade's going to come around, hit this, and stop. And I recommend you do this instead of, you know, fooling around with a piece of wood and holding it with your hand or your foot or whatever. Um, go ahead and get you a block from. If you don't want to make one like I did, then go ahead and get one from Lowe's or Home Depot and get you a commercial blade block. So it's going to come around like that and hit. Let me get this plug off here. Got the plug off. Um, you know, some folks use a impact wrench on this. I do not do that because I don't want to risk damaging that. Um, so I use what's called a breaker bar. This big old thing, you can get these at Harbor Freight. And then you get your, your socket. And this breaker bar gives you all the leverage you need to get these blade bolts out. So let's do that now. Okay. So I'm way over here. There we go. And you put a couple of turns on here, and then usually you can get this uh, thing out with your fingers. And when you've got as much stuff on here as I do, what this guy has run over what looks like landscape fabric, it is so much easier to get that nonsense off of there with the blade off. If you try and do it with the blade on, it's it's just difficult. It can be done, but it takes a long time. The rest of stuff is nylon and it's it's wound around there tight. Well, let's see. This thing's you know, slip right out now. Okay, I'm holding the blade because I don't want it to fall on me. I'm going to just use my fingers now. Check the condition of this adapter when I get it off, make sure it's okay. Okay, the 
adapter looks pretty worn out. I'll show you what I mean. So this blade may be actually spinning on the adapter because the bow tie part is pretty worn down. I mean, it may stay in place with that little bit that's left. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, it's supposed to, those little butterfly or bow tie ends are supposed to come up about where that is. So uh, it's pretty worn out. So this blade's at some point has been slipping. So uh, I'll be looking at that closely. Um, so let me start getting this stuff off. And the simplest thing to use but on this is a sharp knife. Um, but you gotta be careful you don't hit that main seal when you're doing this. The main seal up here at the top is rubber. So start cutting this stuff. And it'll come off a little easier. Under your mowers. Oh yeah, you got the, got the netting. All kinds of crap on here. Oh, that's, man, that thing was loose on there. stuff gets so twisted it's hard to get off unless you cut it Put this little little pocket knife on the file. Let's see if I can get it to Let's see if that helps or made it worse. Oh yeah, that's much better. I think it's gotten pretty dull. They run over some weird stuff. Okay. Right, the adapter's okay. The thing you want to check and make sure that the key is still there, that it hadn't been broken off. And check for cracks, you know. It's okay. The question is, is, it, is there enough on this adapter to hold this blade in place? And it's... It's, uh, yeah, it's close. It's very close to whether it would hold anything. Um, it might be okay. And by the way, let's look at the blade. The blade, the blade doesn't appear to be bent, so that's good. Now, the other thing I'm going to do while I've got this moving back like that, I've got to replace or repair this suit, and I found in my supplies this one, but it says it's warped. So it's probably gonna sit too far out like that. But I may be able to correct that. So we'll see. Um, but first we've got to get this this old one off or I, or you know reinstall this on there. The only thing that's here is the is the top piece, you know, this, this metal part is, is still in place. So let me, uh, let me scrape this crook off here and it's either gonna take a, it's either gonna take a 7 16 or a 3 8 And if any of them to work, I can get that stuff off of there. So get you a wire brush. Go down this thing, and the socket will fit on there. Looks like a 3 axis. 
see. See if I can see if I can get it off. piece that was on there I need that screw to attach this replacement and we're gonna see just how warped this thing is I've marked it so it must be pretty bad It's just, this is the mulch plate. Here's the, the mulch plate. And if I cinch this down, then, you know, it's really a discharge suit. It's unsafe because uh, this, this gap is a little big. I'm afraid st stuff would come back on the user. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this thing tightened up here. snug yeah the only thing loose is where it attaches up there so what I've got to do is somehow get this down and we're gonna see if this works all right so what I'm gonna do Try a hair dryer and heat this plastic. I'm try to get it down here like that. Okay. So when you come back, I'll be. That's what I'll be doing. 